Hi everyone, I'm Mahana. Thank you so much for following me here on Instagram. I said goodbye to Facebook on Saturday. For the past almost two years, I had a Facebook page called Whistleblower Northern Territory. A page to give advice and support for other whistleblowers and also to tell everyone about my experience speaking out about serious teacher principal misconduct at Driver Primary School in the Northern Territory. In late June this year, Whistleblower Northern Territory had over 1,000 likes. I then got absolutely bombarded with threatening and vulgar and nasty messages and comments towards me and my family. These nasty people who live here reported my page and Facebook emailed me to say they have permanently deleted Whistleblower Northern Territory. Next day, I set, set up another exact Facebook page. Two hours later, Facebook emailed me to say that they had deleted that one as well. And there was only like one like, and I was the only like that was on it so far. A lot of people, including Northern Territory ministers and the Northern Territory media, are trying to silence me and stop me from warning parents of what really is happening here. That the Northern Territory Teachers Registration Board and the Northern Territory Education Department are allowing teachers and principals who have serious, sometimes many times, repeated misconduct against them to not properly be investigated and allowing these teachers and principals to hop from school to school where I found out many get transferred to remote Aboriginal schools without other principals there knowing about these employees' serious misconduct against them. I am absolutely devastated and absolutely disgusted when I was told recently that the teachers and the principal, ex-principal of Driver Primary School, who have serious complaints against them, which myself and other parents have complained, made formal complaints about since 2013, when I found out that they had been invited and attended Driver Primary School's recent birthday celebrations. And everybody here, including the new principal, knows what these teachers did to not, my, not just my children and my child, but to many other students at Driver Primary School and ex-students that are now in middle school. Absolutely disgusting. I will not be intimidated by anyone, not even those in uniform, who turned up at my house about a couple of months ago in June to nicely threaten me. By the way, Senior, senior Sergeant, I recently had a long conversation with your boss. He was very interested in wanting to know why a senior sergeant in Palmerston would try and nicely threaten me. Thank you to everybody so much for your support. Thank you to everyone who's supporting me in the Northern Territory, in Darwin, in Palmerston, in Alice Reeves, in Catherine, in Nullumboy, wherever you may be, even in interstate, in Melbourne, Sydney. Thank you so much. It means just so much to my family and myself. And I want you to know that everything I have said is the truth. I have nothing to gain from any of this. My family have been through hell, but why I'm doing it and why I'm continuing to do it is for the children. They have to have a voice. These people cannot do this at school to children. There are rules to follow that principals have to follow. They can't take students after school in their car alone by themselves, driving who knows where, without any permission from the, the student's parent. They cannot do that. They can't be in the classroom with primary school kids telling sexual stories and jokes and violent stories and jokes and doing an execution activity. They cannot be doing that. And only some people who do that obviously have a sinister intention and vulgar mind and they must be investigated. But the Northern Territory Police will not do it. The Education Department refuse to properly investigate. They just hired their friends who happen to be a barrister. She didn't do anything except get paid a lot of money. Same with um, the so-called investigator. He, he only talked to myself and my daughter. There were many other witnesses in that classroom 
and he refused to speak to any of the parents and their children. So I have done their job for them. I, for the last two years, I have investigated all these myself and many children who were witnesses are gladly coming up to me and telling me what happened to them. Be a voice for children. Thank you so much. To everyone else, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you.